video, we're going to work through running a correlation in JASP. And there's two different correlations that we tend to focus on. The Pearson correlation, which is looking at two continuous variables or two interval or ratio variables. Uh, and then the Spearman correlation, which would mean that at least one of the variables is, is more on an ordinal scale. So for this, we're going we're gonna to look at three variables at, at once, not for this, for, for running our correlations. And one of them, one of the variables is going to be GPA. And you'll notice how we ask this question uh, for GPA. You'll notice there's not like 3.5 in here or anything like that. We didn't ask them to type in their GPA. We gave them categories, uh, ranges of GPAs um, from basically a one to, on a one to nine scale. So we would really kind of consider GPA to be on an ordinal scale for this. Uh, the higher the score, the higher the, higher the GPA, um, but we don't have the precise measure of, the, of their GPA within this particular measure. So we're going to look at GPA, and then we're going to look at those two other variables that we've looked at before, the religious questing and the ethnocultural empathy. Both of those are on a continuous scale or, or what we would consider as well an interval scale. So for the correlation, we go up here to regression and correlation matrix is what we're going to want for this. And so we're going to go down and find our, our variables. And so two of them here, that ethnocultural empathy scale and the questing scale. And then we're going to I'm going to roll up and hopefully find our next variable here of GPA. There it is. We'll put GPA in there. So you'll see over here how we have it set up in terms of uh, correlation matrix. And so this means for this ethnocultural empathy scale, this is a correlation between that and questing. And we'll see, you see here that it's less than 0 0.05, so it's statistically significant. Um, and then with, with GPA, but how it's doing right now, it's just doing Pearson correlations. So if I go over here and click Spearman as well, I can get both the, the results for both correlations at the same time. I have in the past, I found that students have have gotten confused on how this matrix is set up here. So a different way in which you might display it that might be more helpful to you um, is the display by uh, display pairwise table. And so when you do it this way, it's quite obvious what two variables are being being correlated. And so we've got the Pearson correlation results here, and we have the Spearman ones here. So when I was describing those variables, when uh, these two scales, that, that, um, the Pearson correlation is what it is that you want to use for that. When you're correlating with GPA, remember that was on an ordinal scale, then we'd want to use the Spearman correlation uh, over here for that. And so you'll see for um, ethnocultural empathy and questing, there's a positive correlation between those two variables. It's not, not massive, but it's, it's positive and it's statistically significant. Um, and then for the ethnocultural empathy and GPA, we do have a significant correlation, right? It's less than 0 0.05. Um, but, you know, that correlation coefficient isn't really that large. Uh, uh, but it is a significant relationship, but small. And then the questing in GPA, you'll see over here, it's a, it's a little bit above 0 0.05. So we would say there's, there's no significant relationship between religious questing and GPA. By the way, on here as well, is if, if you'd like to have JAS flag the correlations, it'll do that for you as well. Um, so it's just really the same information as what you got here. Um, but this is the type of thing that you'll see in a table often. So if you wanted to use this table in, let's say, a paper or a journal article, um, this would be nice to be able to just cut and paste into it because this is what we typically see in a journal article down, down here, this information, um, and then the, the asterisks over here. Okay, so how would we end up writing up these results? So again, we're going to we're going to copy what we have here, bring it up into a Word document, and we'll paste it into the Word document. Again, I jumped ahead a little bit here to to write up the results. So there's a significant positive correlation between ethnocultural empathy and religious questing. 
And so remember, we use Pearson's correlation, which is R for this. And then I have in parentheses here just a DF. One of the odd things um, with, uh, with JASP is it's not providing, doesn't provide the degrees of freedom in the output, which is, um, which is a little odd. And so for this course, it's fine for you to just put the degrees of freedom here, just knowing that that would basically be the, the sample size where bo where participants completed both of those those different items minus two um so we know it'd be 700 and something that we would put in here but we don't know exactly what it is because it's not in that output and for the sake of this course it's fine for you to just put df in there equals and then the the correlation coefficient that's that's down here um and then uh, P less than point, uh, zero, zero, 0.001, which we, we see right here. And then GPA was significantly correlated with ethnocultural empathy. Remember, we used the Spearman for that because, the, because GPA was on an ordinal scale. Um, and so we, we have that correlation coefficient here. We just rounded to two decimal places um, for that. You'll notice... We have rho here instead, which indicates that it was a, P a Spearman rather than the Pearson correlation. And then the, the p-value um, for that, that we see right here. Um, but only approach significance with religious questing. And here's our correlation coefficient, again, rounding to two decimal places. And then here's the, the p-value for that. And we say approach right because it was 0 0.06 it was and that's close to 0 0.05 it's not doesn't quite meet our threshold so it is okay for us to say that it approached significant but it but it wasn't a statistically uh, significant result so that's how you would you would do a basic write up of the results from uh, both the Pearson and a Spearman correlation coefficient